Since the mid-1800s, croquet has been played on courts across the country. However, it would be eclipsed in the 1900s with the popularity of tennis. Nowadays, it does have a reputation for attracting more mature players, and there are plenty of those. But the sport does have a new generation coming through. James Galpin is 18 and one of England's rising stars. He got his introduction to the game when his local club offered a free taster session. Planning to go along for like a couple of hours, ended up there pretty much all day. It's definitely stereotyped as being an old people's sport, uh, but there's no reason why it can't be a young person's sport as well. And this weekend, more than 200 clubs right across the country are opening up their courts for free to attract more talent like James. Anybody's welcome to come along, a pair of flat shoes is required, warm weather gear or, or waterproofs because we operate through the rain. It can be played equally between men and women and it doesn't matter about your age, so strength and fitness don't necessarily come into it. What appeals to me as a, an ex-cricketer is that there's a lot of tactics and strategic thinking. Uh, you have to, quite often, balance risk against reward, so it's how well can you execute the shots but how good are your tactics and strategy. And it's not just young players and men that clubs are after. They're reaching out to women, who, unlike in the rest of the world, make up a minority of players here. To get good at the sport, you need to take it up when you're young. Um, so the higher echelons of croquet in this country, um, there's only probably 10% of women. When you go to Australia and New Zealand, it's much more 50-50. With free taster sessions in croquet being offered around the country, I thought I should swat up on the sport before having a go. It says here, in the standard triple, you peel your partner through four back when making the third hoop yourself. I think I need to do some more studying. Now, in theory, I should have an advantage. That book I'm reading was written by John Solomon. He was my step-grandfather. I was brought up on tales of his victories but I wondered if John was still remembered in the croquet world. Simon Carter is involved with the staging of the World Championships, which come to Britain later this year. He is croquet royalty. John Solomon is absolutely the name. It's a bit like Chippendale in furniture or Renoir for paintings, and I have a grip. I grip my mallet like this, and that's named after your step-grandfather. It's called the Solomon Grip, so I owe that to him. Well, sadly, John passed away nearly five years ago. So someone else had better remind me of his famous grip. No pressure. So you just have two hands at the top of the mallet, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much all it is. You just swing the mallet between your legs, and away and you go. Aim straight. Good man. Well and natural. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I admit, from that distance, most beginners could do that. Perhaps this weekend will be the time to find out if you've got the knack.